Igbo made up a significant percentage of the transatlantic slave trade. So a lot of the blacks that were taken to America on the slave ships actually had Igbo blood in them. And we see now Igbo are self-identifying as from the tribes of Israel. So if you look in America today, you'll see a lot of celebrities actually from the African-American community claiming Hebrew roots. Uh, reference would be Amari Stoudemire, high-profile basketball player, rapper Kendrick Lamar, who's, you know, got, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe a billion views on some of his stuff. Uh, he, he's These are people who are influential and people look at them like maybe they're crazy. Like how do they have any ties to the tribes of Israel? And then all of a sudden we see the actual ships that brought them here are coming from the exact place in Africa where it's an Israelite hotbed. So this is going to be uh, also an interesting piece of the puzzle. Uh, I, I recently became friendly with a black Messianic Jew, and he was educating me on the black Hebrew Israelite movement. So I just knew that as some kind of cult that says the white man is the manifestation of Satan and that they're the original Israelites and and. Jews like you and me, we are clearly uh, Rabbi. Let us have your name once more. Uh, my name is Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer. Okay. Well, is it okay if we just call you Yehuda? Uh, yeah, that's for fine. Today? No, yeah, okay. that's fine. No problem at all. I'll go on even further to say this: that the um, the slave trade uh, is is actually connected to Deuteronomy 28 because the majority of the slaves that were brought to the Caribbean islands and brought to the Americas were Ibu people, were people of Hebrew and Hebraic Israelite descent, if you will. And so if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, it matches perfectly what happened to the Hebrew slaves, the black Hebrew slaves during the slave oh. trade. It just matches oh, it perfectly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, back up now. I think I think we just rung a bell here. Hold up now. Okay. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold hold the presses. <laughs> okay. Hold hold up. I hope everyone is listening to this. This is this is uh, uh you about to rock some boats now, uh uh Ben Ben uh Ben Yehuda there. Uh hold one hold hold up now. Listen to what he's saying here. So you are saying that there's a great chance, or more so, that the black people that links directly to the slave trade are from the lost tribes of Israel. Is that what you're saying here, sir? Yes, I am. Now, now, granted, I will qualify oh, hold on. that I don't. Wait, oh, wait a second. Oh, I don't believe that I, every I want... single black person is. Hebraic or Jewish, but I'm saying that the majority of the slaves involved in the slave trade were Hebrews. Which uh, are an ancient community of the Israelite exiles. Now this is, uh, for the most part, the general consensus of the largest people in Africa. You do have different groups like the Abu Dai in Uganda, who aren't saying they're from the Lost Tribes, but have joined the people of Israel in the large amounts of numbers. Uh, one other location I'd like to, actually before I go into this other location, what's fascinating is, which I speak about, is the transatlantic slave trade, uh, a large percentage of it actually came from Igbo territory. So these Igbo today in Nigeria who are practicing Jews, numbering the 40 million people with customs and traditions doing circumcision on the eighth day, were the same exact people brought to the Americas on the transatlantic slave trade. Now if someone goes to Times Square in New York today, you'll see uh, you know, African Americans dressed in Israelite outfits and yelling at people saying, you're not the real Jews, we're the real Jews. Uh, and so, most people saying, well, you guys are kooky, you just made this whole thing up, you made up a religion and an identity. Actually, no, they are the blood descendants, most likely, of the people who, from Israel, were brought from Africa to America. So it's very fascinating, but what they need is... is huge, huge, you have a huge, huge community in Africa that they know in tradition, that they are Hebrews, that they are from the child of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. They know it for sure. You have communities that are running services and, and prayer, prayers by the halacha, keeping Shabbat and eating kosher. They know their roots, like you can't argue with them. They're stronger than you. They will tell you who they are. They're not, they don't ask you even. And they have the Bible and it's all written over there and they don't have no problems in life. Except of that we're not able to accept them, to recognize the godliness of the holy tribes that is treasured inside them, their souls. And you have the problem not recognizing your own brother and not understanding that there's a way to let him back in. Because we have today all the power to do that. We have all the sources, we have the land, we have everything we need. Except of the key to our hearts that is still missing. Let me just 
revealed some things. First of all, is that um, uh, the Jews who were brought in Israel, most of them are white. Not most of them, almost all of them are white, including me. I was brought in Israel from a country which is called Bulgaria. It's a European country. And I can tell you that in every European country, there are Jews and there is so-called organization Jewish Agency, which is trying to take those Jews to Israel. Uh, if you track, if you track the, 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 this organization, you can find out that this is not an Israeli organization, this is an American organization. And I can tell you why. Because the true Jews, according to the Bible, you can check it in the Bible, you can read Job 30, 30 and some other places. They have never been white. They have been people of color. And they have not stopped in Ethiopia. They were in, West, in Ethiopia, Sudan, and they have settled in West Africa. From West Africa, they have been taken as a slaves to America. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. America gonna be, do everything, gonna invest as much money as it has, and gonna fight as much wars as they as they can, gonna invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. Do you know that the black man in America is Israel? That he's Jews. Do you know that? Yes. 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 Do you know that the black man in America is Israel? That he's Jews. Do you know that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.